I really can't blame people for shooting dope in their car and just not even caring because I'm literally sitting in my fucking car drinking and trying really hard not to fucking care because I literally am so fucking sick and like done with this existence I, I honestly, I, I, I could use something stronger than some White Claw. And just in case I do decide to get some balls and fucking kill myself, I didn't want to be counted as another COVID death. So, I've been writing all the reasons why. Why I want to die all over my body. So, for example, here, um, the fact that he, that he doesn't want to kiss me, for all the times you won't kiss me, right there. Um, and here's, oh, for all the texts ignored. This one says, for all the Ohio nights that you wouldn't cuddle me. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. That time he... All the times you didn't think my makeup was pretty, darling. All those times I, you know, tried to be cute for you, but just <laughs> never got to be cute. Just got to be that piece of ugly, stupid shit that you completely ignore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, this one over here. All the times you drove away when I needed you to stay. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Yep. Oh, wait. Here. Oh, for every time I'm excluded from a family activity. Yeah, that's another big one. That's another really big one because, uh, well, they have great times together. Great times. Oh, and... And just regular times too, but yeah, I, I don't get to be, I don't even get to be included in any of it. So, um, wouldn't matter if it's super fun or boring, you know, like just simply the fact that, you know, he's probably sitting on the couch having a snack with my kids sitting on the couch, just chilling, watching TV. You know, the fact that they just don't even want me there to sit next to him, having a snack too, maybe watching the TV with them or just doing what I'm doing on my phone with them, sitting there together, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, oh yeah, this one is, oh, because my, my, my tummy, it's, it's just too ugly, too ugly for kisses. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not kissable, you know, I just, just walk right past me like I'm fucking nothing, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I'm really just getting all the reasons because I'm thinking that, uh, what with freak accident deaths and all, uh, people counting them for COVID, I wanted to be real damn sure that they knew that the only reason I want to die is quite simply from neglect and what I like to call broken home syndrome. Oh yeah, this one, speaking of broken homes, have I told you about all the different times that I was pregnant and uh, just left, left hungry, left alone, left to starve? left in the cold with no heat yeah yeah those times you know those times where I would just cry and cry and say can't you just come home can't you just be here can't we have food yeah so I get it I mean before I was thinking wow how could somebody really just 
want to sit in their vehicle and maybe fall out, you know? And I'm like, hmm. At this point, it sounds like a pretty good idea to me, you know? It sounds like a really nice idea. Oh, yeah, the biggest joke of the whole time was um, the fact that I actually did ask my husband to order me some bath stuff about a week and a half ago. I was trying to be cute, you know? And the crazy thing is, like... <laughs> I actually, um, I really do enjoy having a bath or, you know, something like that. So, I remember I had asked him, um, for some money so I could order some bath salt powder stuff that's supposed to help hydrate your skin. You know, and here I'm figuring, you know what, this is a cute little hint, me saying, hey, um, can we order me some bath stuff? And I'm thinking, ooh, I'll take a bath, and then he'll think I'm so soft that he'll want to grab me all over, and, um, mm, oh yeah, so that caused a huge fight. I got screamed at. Um, no, nope, never got any bath stuff, but today I got told, um, why don't I go get a bath and wash all this silly stuff off? <laughs> mm -hmm. After I've just been giving kids baths in the bathtub, or should I say supervising kids in the bathtub because I don't really have to like actually give them the bath anymore. Uh, it's more like making sure they just do it. But still, you know, they do their thing with their shampoos. They do their thing with all their dirt and grime and they do their thing. And of course, of course... You know, of course, the, the the sink and the pipes are backed up because no one really feels like I'm deserving of having the man of the house. So, I mean, in addition to, like, all the paint chipping on the outside and, you know, piles and piles of laundry and piles and piles of dishes and piles and piles of everything... The sinks are, of course, clogged up. See, so, you now there's shit around the bath. And, you know, I think back to, hmm, wow, maybe, maybe if anybody would have actually thought any deeper into the situation, it would have been nice to say, hey, you know what, babe? Why don't I go clean out the bathroom, run you a bath? You have a bath. I'll take care of dinner for the kids. Or the kid. Our kid. Um, and then we'll have a nice evening together. You know, I see this sunset here. It's gorgeous. And instead of actually getting to walk up and down the neighborhood holding my husband's hand, watching my son on his little bike together. massage I just don't get any of that 
and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to be fucking done with um, this existence, and it's not that I necessarily really want to die, it's that I want to be actually cared about and loved and have an, an enjoyance, an enjoyable, even if it's just every once in a while, I mean, I guess, I mean, I get it. I'm not unreal. Oh, I'm not even worth having nails done. I, I don't, I don't get it. Am I, am I, am I not a girl? It's like, I'm not even a girl. It's like I don't even, it's like I don't even exist. I'm, it's like, it's almost like I'm not even really here. But I am here. And I'm like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here because here is, is the worst. The absolute worst. And like this role of this unwanted single mother who everybody treats like shit. Um, that's not really something I care to play and fulfill out anymore. Like, I think I'm just done in that role. I'm really done with that. So, I don't know. Either there's going to be some sleepovers, some dates, some help cleaning the house, some touching, some sex, some kisses, some family time. Some me getting my fucking nails done. Some me getting a massage. Some kids being happy and nice. I am not opposed to putting a fucking plastic bag over this face and just calling it a fucking day. Because, um, motherfucking over this neglect. I am over this neglect. It was one too many nights last winter. Shivering. It's all I ever do all night. I shiver. I freeze. I cry because I just... I just want to be wrapped up in, in arms of, of someone who loves me. My man, you know. And he, it's like, I don't know. It's like he, he really thinks that shit. Like, I'm just not worthy of it. Like, I'm just such a piece of shit that, like, I don't get to have it. I don't get to have that because I'm, I don't know what. I don't know the answer to this. I really don't know the answer. And this is more like children's Tylenol. It doesn't help really the pain that much, but it, like a little. I don't know. All this soul work I do though, it's like this physical body, I don't need it for anything. You know, I just, I really don't need the physical body. Um, I'm a soul, and uh, no one here in this realm or planet or dimension wants my physical body for anything, so the fuck do I need to be sitting here in it for? You know, like, I'm ready to go be a flying angel, a little ghosty poo, a cute little ghost, or, you know, um, anything, I guess, anything other than that person that everybody hates and nobody wants. 
I mean, I must really be a, a real horrible person. And this isn't to like, I don't know. You know, I, I want to think I'm a good person. I want to think I'm a good woman. I want to think that I treated my twin like a king. I will admit I have not always treated my karmic twin like a king, but I definitely wish that he would allow me to do so. I definitely wish that he would um, care about providing the time for us to be together so that I could But it's like, does any of that matter? Because here I sit alone and I see these families walking up and down the street, you know? I see families just sitting in their yard and I just, I, it's, it's, I don't like to compare other people's lives. I just say, hey, that looks nice. I want some of that, you know? I want my husband to, like, do that kind of thing with me instead of just always wanting to do other things instead, you know? It's like, wow, I get you like to work on cars and you really fucking dedicate to your job. Cool, but, like... I'm not even worth a few hours once a week. I'm not worth an hour a week. I'm not worth an hour every two weeks. I mean, what is it? What is it that I'm really not worth? Because here I'm thinking I should be kissed and hugged. I mean, I guess I got, I guess I got the fucking, I guess I got the wrong memo. Or they did. Right? Yeah, so like I said, you know, I'm just sitting here alone drinking my White Claw once again, and, um, it's pretty fucking retarded. So, yep, bye.